Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, dear colleagues. At the beginning of my speech, in a debate about the importance of strengthening the partnership between the Council of Europe and the European Union, I would like to start with the fact that the Council of Europe has conducted extensive work in the past six decades and has developed legal standards and instruments which may serve the interest of the European Union as well. However, I'm going to focus mostly on the EU enlargement countries from the point of view of someone who comes from an EU candidate country. My country, Serbia, is committed to pursue its integration into the European Union. The European Council, as well as the Council of Europe's monitoring bodies, acknowledge the considerable progress Serbia has made towards meeting the political criteria of the accession. Having in mind that Serbia's goal is to join the European Union, it has boosted a number of reforms in the field of the rule of law, democracy and human rights. This time, I would like to focus particularly on Chapter 23 of accession negotiations and in particular to national minority rights. The Lisbon Treaty has extended the scope of EU action to many areas where the Council of Europe already has significant experience and expertise. This has led to an increased cooperation on issues such as, for example, the protection of minorities. The European standards for the protection of the rights of persons belonging to national minorities are primarily set by the Council of Europe's Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities. The Republic of Serbia is under the monitoring procedure of the Council of Europe. The Advisory Committee on the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities has already approved three opinions on the implementation of this international document in Serbia. The third opinion of the Advisory Committee from last year has 47 recommendations for improving the position of national minorities in the country. On the other hand, the Member States of the European Union accepted the screening report for the Chapter 23 with recommendations whose implementation is required for opening the negotiations on this chapter. Usually, the European Union formulates the problems identified in the form of recommendations. In line with this, and since the European Union has no adequate legislation on national minority rights in the field of general rights, the Republic of Serbia expected to adopt a special action plan on the implementation of minority rights by the end of this year. Taking into account the recommendations from the third opinion of the Advisory Committee on the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities. All in all, there is an increasing number of EU documents related explicitly to the standards and instruments of the Council of Europe. Council of Europe core business has become more central in the EU enlargement policy as well. The European Union relies on Council of Europe data and analyses to prepare its progress reports. Thank you.